Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, we are going to learn how to animate a food delivery app UI in After Effects. So let's start. So these are the UI pages we are going to use in this lesson. And let's take the first two UI pages. And this is how I have separated the layers of the UI elements. Okay, so now let's jump on to After Effects and proceed with our animation. So now we are going to start with the first UI page. So I'm going to select all the elements except the screen and the phone layer and let's pre it and name it screen elements. I'm going to copy this screen layer again and put it above and use it as an alpha mat. Alright, so right now let's create a click effect. So for that I'm going to create a new composition and let's name it click. I'm going to keep it, the resolution 1920 is to 1080 and the frame rate as 30 and press OK. And I'm going to select the ellipse tool and create a circle. So I'm going to change the color and let's give it yellow. Okay, and I'm going to open the scale property, put a keyframe over here. And also I'm going to go inside contents ellipse and put a keyframe on stroke width and press U to open the properties with keyframes. Then I'm going to jump on to next 10 frames. And let's further scale it up and give the width zero. And at this point, I'm going to scale it down. And let's scale it. Let's increase the stroke width. Let's give it 200. So let's easy is the keyframes. Okay, now let's check our animation. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. So we are going to turn on the motion blur. All right. So we are going to use this click effect everywhere where we are going to click on any elements in the UI. So right now, let's proceed with the UI animation. I'm going to select the click effect and put it above the screen. And I'm going to scale it down a bit. At this point, we are going to animate the transition from this UI screen to the next one. So we are going to click on this item and after that, the page that belongs to this item will come in. So I'm going to bring in the UI2 and put it over here. Let's check out the UI2. So let's turn on the I button of this UIs for now. All right. And this is a reference element. So I'm going to select this element, open the position property, put a keyframe, open the scale, put a keyframe. And then I'm going to jump on to next 10 frame and I'm going to scale it up and reposition it according to this element okay and i'm going to select the keyframes and easy is it after that the other elements will slide on the left side so i'm going to select this elements open the position property put a keyframe and again on the next frame and at this point we are going to slide and pull it on the left side Even the navigation button, it will slide down. So I'm going to easy use the keyframes and also the search button. So let's check out. 
okay now we are going to bring in the elements of the other pages so we are going to offset the element a bit let's offset it by five frames so i'm going to select this elements open the position property and then jump on to next 10 frames and slide it outwards and i'm going to erase it also reverse the keyframe order same with this one as well and also with all these other elements as well all right and right now let's delete this layer because we don't need it anymore okay we also need to animate this search bar as well so open the position and put a keyframe at this point we are going to move it outwards okay so right now we are going to offset all the keyframes by around a frame So let's check our animation. Let's check it from this window. Okay, so we also needed to add position keyframe on this layer as well. Let's check it out. All right, so now after the point at this point and after leaving three frames we are going to click on this add button i'm going to simply copy this click effect and put it over here okay so at this point after the click this add button will be replaced by a remove button So we are going to trim the remove button and open the opacity, put a keyframe, jump on to next six frames and put a keyframe on the opacity and put 0% of opacity on the first keyframe. So after the click, it will be turned into remove button. Now after that, let's just leave few frames and after that again we are going to click on each of these options to select the type of uh, to select the category we want so let's select on the half first then after that okay after selecting the half this half button will be converted into a blue from gray to blue it will be converted so i'm going to open the opacity put a keyframe jump on to next six frames put a keyframe on opacity and let's give zero at the initial position and easy is it and after that i'm again going to leave six frames And again, I'm going to copy this click effect and put it 
at melt and after clicking the melt it, the button will be turned blue so i'm going to open the opacity put a keyframe jump on to next six frames and put a keyframe on opacity and give zero to the initial frame now again after this click let's jump on to again six frames and then again i'm going to click on the hot option and then again this button will also be turned into a blue button So let's check our animation till now. All right. So right now, after clicking, after clicking all the options, the payment place order option will pop up like this. So we are going to bring it from downside. So open the position and I'm going to separate the dimension. Put a keyframe on the Y axis. Jump on to next 10 frame. Put a keyframe on Y axis. And I'm going to pull it down. And then again, I'm going to jump on to next 5 frames and put a keyframe. And at this point, let's add a overshoot. So I'm going to select all the keyframes and easy is it. Let's check out our animation. All right. So after this, we are going to again click on the place order option. Well, I think we can scale down the effect a bit more. So I'm going to select all the clicks and open the scale property and let's scale it down to 40 and let's check our animation till now because i think the click effect is too big this one looks better all right after this click a payment option will pop up so which are these options and this is the actual panel and I'm going to parent this with this one. Let's rename it select payment. And let's name it option or choose. All right. So I'm going to put a position keyframe and jump on to next 10 frame and put a keyframe at this particular point and then again jump on to next five frame and at this point i'm going to put a keyframe again so at this particular point i'm going to move it downwards and let's add some overshoot to this point so let's separate the dimensions and is is it Let's remove the x-axis. Let's check our animation. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. So let's jump on to next six frames. And I'm going to select on this option. So I'm going to again copy click effect. And okay, so we need to put the UI above this search option. And let's turn off the background layer. All right. So I'm going to put this click effect at this point. So at this point, this whole circle will pop up. So I'm going to open the scale property, put a keyframe and let's jump on to next 10 frame and put a scale property. And at this point, I'm going to give it a 0% of scale. 
and let's jump on to next six frames put a keyframe and then again next five frames and put a keyframe so at this point let's add some overshoot let's easy use the keyframe and let's check out our animation all right it's looking pretty nice after selecting this option this continue button will enable so at this point this is the blue button and if i turn off you can see the continue button is gray and after selecting this option this will turn into blue All right, so let's check our animation. Okay, so like this, you can animate a food delivery app UI or any payment gateway in After Effects. So in the similar fashion, you can animate the rest of the UIs like this. And I'm thinking about making a tutorial on how to animate hands. So stay tuned for that and do try it on your own and do let me know if you have any doubt regarding the lesson. So that is it for this lesson. If you like it, then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson, make sure to comment down below. I will be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.